Hey everybody, this is a quick video just introducing Google Forms to you and how you can embed the Google Form into Academy Central. So I've been showing a few teachers this and they really like this idea of embedding a form in Academy Central. It can be a really nice, quick, and easy way to gather information, especially in terms of formative assessments, trying to get a sense of where your class is in, in terms of learning. So um, I'm just going to show you an example, and then if you're really interested in this sort of thing, then we can sit down together and I can show you exactly how to do this. So um, basically, I was interested the other day in finding out very quickly uh, in a group activity who had been assigned what roles and what they were going to do with those roles, just to make sure that they were on task. So what they were supposed to do is click on this link right here, and then they came to this page that had and an embedded Google form within it. So this, this right here under the blue heading here is a Google form. I actually created this in my Google Drive. And then what I did was is I embedded it within a page within my class on Academy Central. So what's nice about this is if I go ahead and make changes in the Google form back in my Google Drive, they will automatically update here on this page. So uh, that's a really nice feature, I think, obviously. And you know, you can do the same thing with a Google Doc. If you want to embed a Google Doc within a content page within Academy Central, you can do that as well. So um, a student would come here. It automatically detects that they are logged in. So I don't have to even worry about them typing in their name. It just will automatically pick up their username. I created a checklist for them. This could be multiple choice. Uh, question, it could be text question, it could be matching, there's a number of different options there. And then they are just to pick what their assigned role was and then what they were going to do with this role. So they click submit and then they have an option, they can see the previous responses that they've uh, given or they can edit the response that they just recorded. And you can also submit another response as well. So there's some options there. So now from the teacher perspective, from my perspective, what I did was I pulled up a spreadsheet that had this information in it. So if I go to the bottom, you can see it very, very quickly, almost real time, updates the spreadsheet. And I can see that I at 9.26 or at 10.07 or 9.26 said I was assigned this particular role and this is what I'm going to do with it in our activity. So some teachers really like this because it just consolidates all this information very very quickly into one spreadsheet and it's all in one scrollable page. You can really do things similar to this with quizzes on Academy Central but some people like this uh, a little bit better. So uh, one nice thing that you can do with this that you can't do on Academy Central is filter your results. So I would select this top row here, and then if I click this little filter button, currently it's turned on. If I, I turn it off, all those little options go away, those little uh, down arrows. But if I click the filter button, now I can filter based off of what I want. I can filter by timestamp, or I can filter by username. So if I want to see, let's say that you know, there are, especially if there's multiple responses, and I want to see all the responses by Cayman Ma, I would select his name and click OK, and then it just shows his response. Okay, and if he had responded multiple times, you would see multiple rows of different data. So that's kind of a nice feature that you can use with that. Uh, obviously, you can chart stuff as well if you want to get kind of fancy. But uh, really easy to set up, really easy to embed, and one way to gather information quickly. So just wanted to show you guys that. If you have any uh, questions, let me know.